We are in one of the most isolated cities in the world, but this mining city offers some of the most unique attractions, from its stunning sceneries to its unspoilt coastlines, out of this world limestone structures, an island paradise with the friendliest animal on the planet, in a diverse and vibrant city rich in culture that offers both adventure and excitement to any traveler, Perth is definitely a must-see holiday destination. So if you're planning a trip to Perth, then here's your itinerary of top 10 things to see and do, starting with number one, Kings Park and Botanic Gardens. Kings Park and Botanic Gardens is arguably the most famous attraction in Perth visited by nearly 6 million people a year, that's actually more than double the population of Western Australia. Overlooking Perth from the West End, this magnificent sanctuary provides vast expanse of rolling greens and natural bushland, and it's only minutes from the Central Business District. Sitting on top of Mount Eliza, this park is bigger than the Central Park in New York City. So you can easily spend a day here, have a picnic, stroll around, discover the botanic gardens, or enjoy the amazing views of the city skyline and beyond. Admission is free, and you can catch the free bus from the city center. Number 2. Elizabeth Key Situated at the south side of the city and an easy walking distance from the central business district, you can start your morning here by having a stroll around, have a cup of coffee, or enjoy the fresh air and the atmosphere. Elizabeth Key also has the iconic Swan Bell Tower which provides bird's eye view of the Swan River and beyond. And you can catch the ferry here that will take you to South Perth and Rutness Island. The Key is also a must-see attraction at sundown when the lights are lit up. Different colored lights are on display adding to the vibrant atmosphere. There are more bars and restaurants for you to enjoy. Elizabeth Key is an exciting waterfront precinct open 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. This destination is also very accessible to everyone with regular public transport available. Number 3. Madagara Bridge If you're looking for a dose of adrenaline rush, then this is the place to be. Activities on offer include zip lining and bridge climbing, or simply a leisurely walk across the bridge and the Burstwood Peninsula Path. Optus Stadium is also conveniently located at the other end of the bridge for live concerts or sporting events, and Crown Perth is nearby so you can make a night out of it with your friends. The bridge is also stunning at twilight when the lights from the bridge are lit up and to do a bridge climb around this time is certainly going to be a remarkable experience. This suspension pedestrian bridge is located at East Perth and is accessible by the free bus service from the city centre. Number 4. Perth Laneways London Court is the most famous laneway in Perth with quaint little shops and cafes for you to enjoy. But apart from London Court, Perth also has other laneways for you to discover. Explore Wolf Lane and Shafto Lane. You can enjoy a stroll along these vibrant laneways, enjoy a cup of coffee, check out the bars and restaurants available.
These laneways also become more lively at night and the atmosphere is definitely more vibrant and inviting. So you can dance the night away with great music and entertainment. Another laneway worth checking out is Chunwa Lane, located in Northridge, just five minutes walk north of the city. The lane offers many Asian restaurants for you to try out. Number 5. The Historic Port City of Fremantle What's not to love about Fremantle? The colors, the charming old buildings, the cappuccino strip with its many cafes, the history, the food, the arts, the vibrant markets, the harbor with its many restaurants. Baylor's Beach is also a perfect spot for drinks as you watch the sunset, and the city has further attractions at night, such as the torchlight tours at the Fremantle Prison, and a ride at the tourist wheel is also an experience not to be missed. Fremantle, or Frio as the locals call it, is only half an hour away by train from Perth. This highly accessible destination should definitely be on your first travel itinerary. Number 6. Rutness Island Rutness Island is considered to be the most popular day trip from Perth for both locals, interstate and international visitors. And it's only 25 minutes away by ferry from Fremantle Beach Shed or 45 minutes from Elizabeth Key. This island paradise is home to 62 stunning beaches and 20 beautiful bays for you to swim in and snorkel. Some of the top attractions include Little Salmon Bay, The Basin, Henrietta Rocks, Pinkus Beach, and so much more. You can explore the island by bicycle or for added convenience, there is also a bus that goes around the island. The island is also home to the friendliest animal on the planet, the quokkas, which are always happy to greet you along the way. Rutness Island also boasts some of the most beautiful sunset Perth has to offer, so make sure you check it out. Number 7. Margaret River Region If you are in Perth for at least a week or more, then the Margaret River Region is a must-see destination. Gifted with unspoilt coastlines, stunning sceneries, world-class wineries, and ancient subterranean wonders, this is one of the most unique holiday destinations on the planet. Bustleton is also the gateway to the Margaret River region and a perfect pit stop on your journey. Bustleton is also home to the longest timber jetty in the Southern Hemisphere, and you can walk the almost two kilometer stretch to reach the end or catch the solar powered jetty train. An underwater observatory is also located at the end of the jetty. Blessed with snow white sand beaches and turquoise blue waters, the Margaret River region has some of the best beaches Western Australia has to offer. Number 8. Pinnacles Desert Another day trip that should be considered on your Perth itinerary is Pinnacles Desert, located in Nambung National Park about two hours drive north of Perth. Discover the out-of-this-world limestone structures that were formed approximately 25 to 30,000 years ago.
You can marvel at these amazing structures by driving the 4.5 kilometer loop or simply walking around the park. But don't forget to take a snap or some souvenir photos along the way. And the best season to visit the Pinnacles is in the months of August to October as the days are mild with wildflowers in bloom. Number 9, Lancelin Sand Dunes. And if you love the outdoors and are looking for more fun and adventure, then another day trip for you and your kids is Lancelin Sand Dunes. Located an hour and a half drive north of Perth, activities here include sandboarding, quad biking, four wheel driving, and much more. And if you had enough fun and excitement from the dunes, then Lanzalan Beach is also a perfect spot to cool down, rest, or have a picnic. The beach is located in Western Australia's Torquoise Coast and also has an island about 600 meters away from the mainland. This beach is quiet, secluded, and you can certainly find a picnic spot for the rest of the day. This is definitely one of WA's best kept holiday secrets. And last but certainly not the least, number 10, Swan Valley. It's hard to believe that only half an hour away from Perth is the second oldest wine region in Australia. So if you're into food and wine, then this is a perfect day trip for you and your family. You will find world-class and award-winning wineries in the valley as you cruise from cellar door to cellar door, sampling the best produce the valley has to offer. You will also find some of the best restaurants for you to enjoy. The Swan Valley in Autumn is also a spectacular destination when the color of the vines turn to crimson, yellow, and amber. This is also the time when the grapes are ripe, picked, and brought into the winery. Thank you so much for watching our videos and supporting our channel. We hope to see you again in our next videos. Stay safe and be happy and bye-bye.